is Renee Fox. I'm the co-director here at Shulamit Gallery. We're here presenting the work of Susan Dehem. The exhibition is called Dawn of the Cold Season. The work is an homage to the poet Farouk Farakhsad, who is an iconic literary figure in Iran during the 1960s. I speak from the end of night, of end of darkness I speak. I speak of deep night ending. Oh kind friend, if you visit my house, bring me a lamp, cut me a window, so I can gaze at the swarming alley of the fortunate. Susan Dayhem during the opening of Dawn of the Cold Season was Susan's own original composition and the piece is an abstract piece really featuring the unique sound of her voice and the unique qualities that she's very well known for in Iran and speaks to the feeling that is worked throughout the exhibition that has to deal very much with the poems that were written by Farouk Farakhzad and that her work reflects. which are written in Farsi. The Persian language, um, Persian literature, is a fine art form from the Middle East, one that is ancient and abstract, but very complicated and layered in meaning. The poems all have to deal with Farouk's personal experience, and Farouk was a feminist, a filmmaker, and a writer during her time, an existentialist actually, and she was really out of place in Persia. So interestingly, she became a really important iconic figure for modern Iranians who are trying to connect with the traditional past, yet go forward with the rest of the world. on the walls are high quality prints that were produced by the artist at the Robert Rauschenberg residency in 2014 in February of this year. They are stills from her video work. Some of them are sets like the piece 678 Fifth Precinct Tehran where the artist is the figure on the stage and there's an image in the background behind her and that really speaks to her own identity as a performer 
However, it's also a piece about identity of Farouk Farakzad when in her poem she identifies with a, a number, an address, and a number, really emphasizing sort of dehumanizing society that she was fighting against and a part of. There are two films featured in the exhibition. One of them is titled Dawn of the Cold Season. It's based on a, the poem by the same name by Farouk Farakzad, and it's a series of shifting images where a woman's face becomes mutated through interesting effects, but essentially it's her walking in front of a mylar mirror. And whose strings of blue veins are dead snakes wrapped about his throat pounding his angry temple. The piece is a bit dark and it has to do with an Iranian woman's coming to terms with the inevitable process of aging. For a woman of Farouk Farakzad's time in the 60s in Iran, this would have been something that would be difficult to deal with as a woman grew older and lost her beauty, often the husband would lose interest in his wife and she was more of a belonging to him than a, a partner. On the threshold of a cold season and in the mirror's grieving vigil, in faint memories, mournful wake, and in this dusk pregnant with wise silence, how can one cry stop to one who moves so patiently?